This is just a short screencast to give you some hints and tips on using Excel for creating usernames and passwords. For example, we may have a series of students here. In this particular screencast, I'm after highlighting six different students. And we may want to combine the names of these students to give first name, last name, or first name, dot, last name, and indeed give them a potential email address and a unique password for them. So to do this, and I'll draw your attention to the formula bar, which is up the top here. To do this, and we just click here, we use the following formula. We use equals b3 and the symbol and c3 so what it does is it combines the two cells together okay the next cell that you're uh, faced with is <coughs> the one where you may want to go first name dot last name and to do that again you use b3 and but this time you want to add in the full stop so you put in inverted commas uh, whatever text you want there in my case just the full stop so an inverted commas full stop close inverted commas and then say and cell c3 the next one down where you want a potential email address we will take this formula says we're taking cell d3 which is mark lynn the combined name we then take and inverted commas and we put the email address with the domain name so and at student.ie and it presents this email address marklin at student.ie the last section formula that i want to show you is the password and uh, what i've done is created where i've taken the, u the user's first name and then i've put in a term which gave some numbers and a non-alphanumeric character which is the star so i just said b3 and inverted commas 2012 star so now straight away you can give your students their username their email address and a password to copy that for the whole class highlight the cells come to the black uh, small black box at the end and copy it down and there's your entire class and you'll note that the password changes for them all and the email address changes for them all the uh, extra little tip that I'll give you here is you may get your data where you will have uh, it mismatched essentially not in the format you want so here I have Sue Glynn uh, uppercase for S lowercase for G what you want that is in proper case so again looking at the formula bar we have proper B16 so it takes this uh, the content in cell B16 and puts it into proper case if we look at the next example in um, B17 where we have Sue Glynn all in uppercase to do that we just again proper B17 so it doesn't matter whether your source cell is in upper lower or mixed case it will fix it for you straight away if it's an uppercase you want to transfer the whole lot to lowercase you just put lower B18 and finally if it's in lowercase and you want to put it in all caps you just put upper B19 I hope you found this tip useful